everyone seemed to come to Chasen's, the famed Hollywood restaurant where deals were sealed, gossip was wholesaled, and romances began and ended. Hollywood royalty rubbed shoulders with real royalty and presidents for a menu that appealed to carnivores. Chili, beef bones, and hobo steaks flamed at tableside. And then the party ended in 1995 when Chasen's closed after being sold to a mall developer. Off the menu, The Last Days of Chasen's is an evocative documentary that records the passing not only of a restaurant, but of a Hollywood era. The co-directors are Sherry Springer Berman and Robert Polcini. As soon as you announce that you're closing Chasen's, now you're busy every night. I said, well, let me tell you, the only way I can put it to you is when you're sick, nobody call you, but when you die, everybody come to the funeral. The most unforgettable characters at Chasen's weren't the customers, but the veteran employees, especially Raymond Bilbu, the feisty banquet manager, who was an obsessive perfectionist. No, his view is, uh, no matter what the call time is, say the call time's five, you should, his people working in his party should be there at 4.30 or 4. That's right. And that's, if they're not, if they're on time, they are late. Still... Then there was waiter Tommy Gallagher, who was intimidated by no one. Not many people called Sinatra Frank to his face. We all could have gone someplace else and made more money. I stayed, thank God. You absorb some of the pride and tradition of the restaurant. You realize that for a waiter like Tommy Gallagher, his job really was his life. You meet his son who loved him, but only rarely saw him because Tommy was always at work. You see in miniature how rituals and traditions are the cement of human society and how even a restaurant can provide continuity and meaning. By the end of the movie, you're amazed by how deeply you've been touched. Oh, I thought this was a terrific job. And again, think about the standard way of telling the story mm -hmm. of the closing of a restaurant. You show the restaurant, maybe some of the famous people who ate there, and you have the scene where, you know, the mean money man explains why, uh -huh. for financial reasons, it must be closed, and then the final dinner and, you know, the exterior shot lights out. Mm -hmm. Well, but these directors did something, as you've mentioned, totally different. They found something fresh to go at the employees mm -hmm. and tell their stories. What a wonderful idea. It humanizes this experience. It stands for all employment, all work. It, they've made a universal story out of yeah, something they, that normally would have been just, you know, uh, a little bit of showbiz. They made the staff into the stars. Exactly right. And the stars into the supporting cast. You got it. If you're there every night, sure, Jimmy Stewart comes in, Frank Sinatra comes in, and then they go home. But you're there again tomorrow night, and this is your turf. Your yeah, territory it was great. and your pride is involved. There was only one thing they left out that I thought a documentarian would have included. The recipe for the chili. Yeah, well, I'll give you my chili recipe. And that's also very good. Oh. When we come back, the Oscar nominee Beyonce thumbs down for the Land Girls, the wonderfully photographed but listless slice of British wartime life. A split decision on Mulan. Gene thought it came up short compared to other comparable Disney films. Two big thumbs up, though, for Off the Menu, The Last Days of Chasen's, but a split